What's up gamers, my name is Ayushi and today I'm going to be giving you guys a brief tutorial of how you can actually install Fantasy Star Online 2 on PC, this is the North American server, without using the Windows Store. This is crazy because lots of people have been dealing with tons and tons of issues that they've been getting by playing the game through the Windows Store, myself included. Oftentimes it'll end up kind of corrupting the files, glitching things out, and more notably, the Windows Store, oddly enough, will end up duplicating the game, kind of backing it up, which is literally just gonna be taking more disk space. It's, it's pretty gross. So anyways, what you're gonna be doing is using a third-party software that is going to be the PSO2 Tweaker. Now, Windows is going to recognize this as a virus or your antivirus software might end up recognizing it anyways. I'm telling you guys that you can download it it's perfectly fine there will be a link in the description as well as some steps that if you are a bit more computer savvy you can just skip through this tutorial uh, but generally speaking you're going to end up downloading the tweaker and when you end up launching it for the first time it's literally going to ask you whether or not you want to open a guide on their website and that guide is going to give you options of either uh, you know using the guide for the English server or the Japanese server so for today's purposes obviously you're gonna be selecting the North American server but you know if you're watching this video we can just kind of skip that process now you can end up telling the tweaker like it is going to ask you whether or not you already have PSO2 installed honestly speaking I'd recommend that you guys uninstall the Windows version just because it's going to be a lot cleaner if you end up doing it this other way I'm just letting you guys know that you can run into a lot of issues by having two versions of the game installed so what I did was I just uninstalled the Windows 10 version now the thing is when you actually say that you want to end up installing the North American version because it needs certain permissions from Windows because the Windows 10 store literally is connected to your copy of Windows what you're basically going to have to do in order to install the game in the first place is you have to have developer mode active so what you'll literally end up doing is on your taskbar down at the bottom of your screen uh, you're going to end up going into your settings and then you are literally just going to end up typing develop developer you should see a little pop-up of developer settings that you can end up opening and in here you're going to see that the use developer features so uh, you know you're going to have multiple options of Microsoft Store apps uh, side load apps and developer mode you can just as easily just to let you guys know if you're not using developer mode already you can swap to developer mode install the game through the tweaker and then you can swap back to whatever your setting was prior and you'll still be able to end up running the game but you're gonna have to swap to developer mode uh, and it's going to ask for permission to do that just say yes and then you'll be able to actually use the tweaker to install Basically, all this is doing is making it so that a third party software can end up kind of downloading something from the Microsoft Store without having to do it through the Microsoft Store exclusively or something like that. So then you just click your install path, click start, and now the tweaker is going to start downloading the game files for you. Everything's going well if you start seeing this on your screen because what is going to end up happening with Fantasy Star is not only is it going to end up installing the game, it has to patch in and download like close to 100,000 unique files that is how the game ends up working because the fantasy star is generally like so super duper old it just installs this way uh this is going to end up taking a while depending on your internet so you can just leave it in the background just cooking and chilling uh generally speaking you will have to do this even if you were using the windows 10 version and not the tweaker but i found that it is actually going to download significantly faster if you're using the tweaker method rather than using the windows Windows store I don't know why maybe the Windows store just bottlenecks the download further than the tweaker does but either way you're gonna have to wait for quite a while to end up getting this done so once everything's installed you'll notice that if you end up clicking start PSO2 on the tweaker you might run into this error message right here this is basically the tweaker saying that it needs permission to access this program through the Windows store or more specifically it's Windows itself asking you to be able to run it through the Windows store and if you click click uh, you know look for this app in the Microsoft Store it's literally just going to take you to the page where it'll try to download PSO2 so you can skip over this uh, I'll put a link in the description again to another download that you'll have to end up grabbing uh, and you're going to end up wanting to put this file into the folder that you installed Fantasy Star so uh, pretty much as you can see right here you're going to put it in the Fantasy Star install folder not necessarily in the bin just where everything else is 
then you're going to end up right clicking the file and run with PowerShell. It's going to end up opening a window that looks a little bit weird as it kind of does its magic and ends up resolving the issue for you guys. So you're going to have to wait until it says it's done and then you can press any key and it's going to end up closing that program. As far as I can tell, what it's doing is using the PowerShell to kind of create the permission file that Microsoft uh, or that Windows is actually looking for in order to run the game. So from this point on, you should just be able to run it, no problem. So hopefully this video was helpful for you guys. As soon as I learned about this, I knew that I had to let you guys know about it because this tweaker method is really, really good. Uh, I didn't really personally run into too many issues with the Windows 10 store version of the game however sometimes i noticed that it just wouldn't end up loading the launcher anymore so i would have to like uh you know restart like my windows explorer or just restart the computer in general i haven't had to deal with that issue since launching the game through the tweaker so hopefully you found this video helpful i'll try to cut it down in editing as best as i can so that it's very instructive and very straight and to the point point. and otherwise i would appreciate if you would smash like sub for more buy the merch you want to support the channel and have yourselves a great day i'm actually not wearing any of my merch right now but anyways bye guys